this is a concerto that if you start asking pianists what their favorite Beethoven piano concerto is, or even what their favorite piano concerto is, Beethoven four often comes up. And I think it's because there is this amazing combination of lyricism, drama, and virtuosity. The most surprising thing about this piece is the way it begins with a soft, almost apologetic entrance by the piano alone. Um, and when the orchestra sneaks in, in what seems at the moment to be a completely unrelated key, I mean, there's something just transcendent about that moment. Watch how the drama of piano and orchestra evolves in this piece. Another big highlight is the second movement. The story that everybody sort of associates with it is of Orpheus taming the wild beasts, in which case the, the pianist represents Orpheus and the orchestra represents the wild beasts, which I'm sure every orchestra musician wants to hear. What happens in the course of this is that the pianist, who is singing softly, until the very end of the movement, by about two thirds of the way through the movement, the orchestra's hushed, like they're listening to the piano finally. And the piano is being listened to because the piano never insists. 